Hey guys, One Piece Nation here today to bring you a quick Dragon Ball discussion video on what should happen to the Dragon Ball franchise after the death of Akira Toriyama. Akira Toriyama is currently 16 years old, and when you really think about it, he doesn't really do anything anymore in terms of work. When you think about Super, all he's done is write the manuscript for it, and given that to Shueisha and Toei Animation. So now Jump had Totaru writing the manga and drawing it, and Toei is handling the anime. They're just following the manuscript written by Akira Toriyama himself. Now, the thing is, it just, if you look at all the material made that is non-canon, some of it is good. I'm not going to say all the non-canon material is bad, but nothing is as good as the stuff that Toriyama is involved with. None of the movies beat Battle of Gods for me, or Red Direction of that. There are some things that are definitely... I can't think of too many things that I would rather watch than Super. Even though Super does have its flaws, it's still good. But most of the things, when Toriyama isn't involved in it, isn't very good. And I just personally believe, after Akira Toriyama's death, I feel like that should just be the end of the franchise. Now, let's be honest, that's not gonna happen. There is no way Toei isn't gonna fight to the right to make more movies and Shonen Jump isn't gonna try to write in and get somebody to write in their manga. But I personally, what I think should happen to the series after Akira Toriyama's death is I think it should end. But you have to realize everything needs to end eventually. I do plan on th th talking about this with Naruto as well. It's bigger with Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball is, thir is a theory that is 30 years old. Alright, Toriyama started Dragon Ball when he was a young man. He is 16 years old right now, and in like 10 years he could be dead. People talk about we're gonna get maybe, you know, super maybe the same length as these. Some people think that's gonna happen. I'm like, that's not gonna happen. Unless it is done by Toei Animation without Toriyama's help in any way. That's not going to happen because I don't think Toriyama is going to live long enough to do another series the length of Dragon Ball Z. Because especially considering Toriyama, if you look at the original manga, there is no Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z is, a, is just a different version of the anime. The original story is all one, it's all one manga, the Dragon Ball manga. When they started the Saiyan Saga, or the Saiyan Saga, they did start end of the Dragon Ball series and start the Dragon Ball Z series. But that was an anime only thing. So another se Toriyama to do another Dragon Ball series the same length as his previous one would be writing a series that would be the equivalent to over 500 chapters. I don't see Toriyama doing that. He's too old and he probably won't live long enough to do that. So honestly it's a very depressing thought to think about somebody dying. But a lot of people need to realize that when you're talking about another series or more new content after the Universe 6 arc, it's like, yes, that could happen, but don't fight for it. If Toriyama is to die and we keep on fighting for new content, we're just going to get more garbage from Toei. And we don't want garbage. So what I personally think, if I were Toriyama at least, what I would do is, when I'm, you know, when somebody asks me when I, like, start getting sick or start getting older, if somebody were to ask him, I'm hoping his response is, uh, I, I, I'm taking the, the, the animation rights from Toei, and I'm taking the rights to public the manga when jump. Just taking the rights away, so, so they had no power. The Toriyama is the, is the supreme one. And the same thing with any manga. The original mangaka owns the entire franchise. Other companies had the right to it, but the rights, but Toriyama can fight to get the rights easily. But in the end, it's his theory, it's his work. So if he, he could, he, they could have made an entire movie, and Toriyama could look at it and be like, no, Toei, I know you spent two billion yen on this, you're not, you're not putting it out there, I don't like it. He could do that if he wanted to. Toriyama owns the entire franchise. To Toei can't do anything without going to Toriyama. Every single time they do filler in the anime, do anything, they have to go to Toriyama. He, he may not help them with it, but they have to show it to him, and he may turn around and be like, Nah, I don't like it. I don't want this in my franchise. That Toriyama is the, is the supreme one. He makes all the final decisions.
everybody else is under Toriyama. Even his bosses are technically under him. But people that are, that pay him at Jonin Jump, yes, they are his boss. But in the end, he decides what happens with the franchise. It's his theory. So what I think the best move to do would be to just let it die with him. I really do. I love Dragon Ball, but I wanted to die with Toriyama. Because honestly, when you start dragging a series out, it starts getting bad. It, Tor, Dragon Ball is already having problems with plot holes and inconsistencies very early in Super. Alright, very early. There's, in the manga, there's a thing with them spending three days in the time chamber. Yes, that is unexplained, but at the moment, that is technically a plot hole. It could be explained, and then it wouldn't be a plot hole. But at the moment, even if they were to rebuild the room of spirit, the room of spirit and time, there is no logical explanation for why they could spend three days in there. You could say it would reset their time, but the original limit was still two days. So, there's no way they could spend three in there. It doesn't make sense. The whole Togoma thing, like, the whole Togoma thing doesn't make a lot of sense. Goten defusing right when he arrives on the battlefield. I mean, and this is all because Toriyama isn't doing it directly. Yes, these are mistakes Toriyama probably would also make, but you have to really think about it. Without Toriyama, there's nobody to stop Toei from putting Brawly in the, in stupor. Without Toriyama, the canon is over. There is no canon without Toriyama. The canon are things Toriyama approves. If Toriyama isn't around to approve it, then Toei can literally do whatever they want with the theory. There's nobody to go to to ask permission for. There's no one above, there's no one above them to tell them they can't do something anymore. And I personally don't want freaking Brawly in the canon. In the canon continuity. But Toei could try to do that. So, and after Toriyama dies, mo but what's really gonna happen is nothing nothing to happen after that after that final thing is published, nothing after that can be considered canon. Because we don't know what Toriyama would approve or not. So it just gets to the point when it's like no matter how if you really do care about the series and the franchise, you would want it to die with Toriyama. Just and just you know enjoy what he enjoy the work and the theory he he created. Because there's no point in the theory continuing after Toriyama dies. There really isn't. I mean, I'm going to ask you all now. Dragon Ball GT. How would you feel if Toei could do dra could do Dragon Ball GT, but could do something ten times worse? Because no matter how bad GT was, no matter what people say, if it ever got bad enough, Toriyama could have just walked into that studio and been like, no. You're, you're not doing this anymore. It's too bad. Without Toriyama, they could have done anything. They could try to make Brawly canon. I mean, I don't even know how that would work. Like, who would decide what's canon and what isn't canon anymore? So, guys, this has been my thoughts on what should happen to the theory. I've made it quite clear that I think when Toriyama dies, the franchise should end. And I'm not saying completely. Okay, I want to make that clear. Video games. Still should be a thing. If you want to make them video games, that is fine. Video games are just games. They're meant to be fun. They had nothing to do with the story. If you really, if you really feel the need, Toei wants to do like a Dragon Ball GT series. I'm against it. I really am, but you know, I don't think they should even have the right to do it. But that could still happen. I'm saying after Toriyama died, the end. As you know, they shouldn't. Toei just did not be able to do anything. Joachim did not be able to do anything. Jump did not be able to do anything. But, all right, what should happen? is that should be it. It should end. But only thing that should continue in the franchise after Toriyama's death are toys, merchandise, video games, like you know, props, and that's it. Leave it to the fans to keep the series alive. After that, it's not impossible for a series to stay alive after the death of the author. Alright, Toriyama had nothing to do with Dragon Ball for like 18 years. And look at the theory now. It's still successful. It's still alive. The community is actually more alive than it ever had been before, especially on YouTube. The point I'm making is that 
I feel that when Toriyama died, Dragon Ball and all of his theories should die with him. That it should be the end of the franchise besides merchandise and video games. But guys, please tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out. Have a great day, guys.